everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 228. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And I'm still Ben. And Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, customs, what? mass market action figures, uh, how-tos, events, interviews. If it's in the wonderful world of toys, we try to bring it to you. Uh, let's start out by thanking our site sponsors, such as Grumpy Bird. Happy Panda Toys. Black Sheep Button Company. Art Attack Toys. Button Dash Lab. <laughs> Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. <laughs> Superpower Collectibles. ESC Toy. ESC Toy. More art than toy. DK Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Toast. 3D Retro. <laughs> and Paysaver. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, In an extremely a, organized that fashion. That was a wreck. <laughs> Icon of do-over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's also thank... Uh, we have many, many wonderful people to thank for donations. You know what? We, we didn't say... We've been... Site donations. Site Ooh. donations. We've been so busy with the Comic-Con wrap-up for the mm. last few weeks that we need to get to thanking these people. Like, Why don't you run it down? Like Adam from Japan, Jillian from British Columbia, Jennifer from California, Richard from the UK, Thomas from New Mexico, Lauren from New Jersey, James from Texas, Matt from California, and last but not least, Gregory from Kansas. Thank Yay. you so much to everybody. And uh, contests. Mm. We haven't had a new contest in a while. Well, let's, let's do a contest. Should we start now or should we start next week? Um, let's start next week. Okay. Ooh. One more week break. Don't worry. They're coming back. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a voicemail. Uh, uh, can, uh, can, can we listen to a voicemail? Let's hear it. All right. <clears throat> everybody, everybody put your listening ears on. No, no, that, then you can't. No, Ben. 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 No. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> hey, I just want to call it today. The show is good. George, you're good. Eileen, you're good. Ben, you're good. Special guest, guess what? You're good. That's all. Guess what? I'm good too. Peace. All that was right. A good call. That, that was, was a good call. That was a good call. That was good. Good call. Call. Caller. You're good. I like it. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, move on. Let's, Not really much to say about let's that. Let's move on to some news. What is going on with toys? There is a Kickstarter going on right now by one. There's only one. Uh, I don't know. There's only <laughs> one, probably. Uh, it's by Finger Mafia by B Sides Toys. Hmm. This is a Kickstarter campaign to create a set of four five-inch Finger Mafia toys. Uh, first level with a figure starts at $50, so you can check out the link in the show notes at toybreak.com if you'd like to check that out. Definitely. Supporting toys on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in the same vein, we've never actually mentioned an Indiegogo project before, I don't think. Indiegogo? Oh, that's like, that's we like have Kickstarter. Forum. I don't know right? if we have here. Not on the show, though. So, one thing about oh. Kickstarter is that you can't run a campaign on there if you're not in the U.S., Right, Kickstarter is US <clears throat> Right. Right. And also on Kickstarter, you don't get anything unless the project meets its goal. Yes. Right. Um, no one is charged until the end mm -hmm. and only if it meets its goal. And on Indiegogo, you can set it up to everybody that pledges. You just, you're Collect. basically just yeah. collecting at the time of the pledge. So it's kind of like a different. limited time store almost. Yeah. It's like yeah. setting up a, yeah. I like that. Uh, so one of our viewers wrote in, A Silent Orchid Tour. This is by Lindsay Mays. It's a uh, campaign going up right now on Indiegogo. She has a project to raise funds to take her handmade plush monsters on the road to several conventions. And she's offering up several awesome plush creations uh, in as incentives. There you go. For the thing. So uh, just go check out the details in the link in the show notes. And I believe that is one of the ones where you can just buy it and that's it. Like, yes. Cool. It's not a if it's funded kind of thing. Right. Which is cool because I ordered something. <clears throat> that is cool. <laughs> oh. I we'll like the, the uh, I, I'm a fan more of the get it to the goal before anybody gets any kind of charges. Well, it, very different oh. style projects. Right. Because for Lindsay, for example, she has her product already. She makes these 
awesome little plush creatures by hand. Right. So, like, she has the thing, and if you give her, you know, X number of dollars, she can send that to you right now. Something like OMFG, we don't have, you know, $10,000 to tool something just, oh, here, there's our $10,000. But when we do have that at the end of the Kickstarter campaign, then we can, then make, we can it make it for everybody. But what, why can't you just, why doesn't she just, like, open up an online store then? And I'm just... sure she probably has one, but this, like, I think Kickstarter and Indiegogo give you a different audience because mm. people search those sites that might not go to toy blogs or toy sites individually or Etsy or, yeah, you know, they might not Yeah, it does open up your that. audience to other people, I guess. All right. Sounds good. I mean, do you ever, like, peruse Kickstarter? I do, all the do time. You, yeah. Do you find stuff that, like, a playing card deck, and you're mm. like, I would never know that that even existed. I do, and I donate. See? Yeah. That's why you put it up there. Hmm. <laughs> How about the Prometheus figures by NECA? Prometheus. Uh, series 1 will be released in September. Include two 8.5-inch versions Prometheus. of engineers, one in the pressure suit, one in the chair suit. And then there were five figures shown at Comic-Con, including Sweet. engineers, Holloway in space suit, David in space suit. Um, there, I believe there was the alien from the end of the movie was in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Spoiler alert. There's you can, an alien. A um, bunch of stuff. You can check out NECAonline.com. Exciting. More. I'm looking forward to those. Did you guys like the movie? Yeah. Yeah, there's conversations about it on the forum. Go All check right. it out. Cool. <laughs> this isn't movie break. It's movie break. break. <laughs> ben, would you like to tell us about something? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But of course. Uh, Trunks by Urban Elephants. These are three and a half inch DIY vinyl figures with three points of articulation. You can uh, find these at urbanelephant.ca. Canadians, nice. eh? And uh, they're going for $14, U.S. or Canadian? Uh, I believe it. I don't know, but I would assume dollars. $14. Like US. Dollars. I could be wrong about that. All right. That would require some more investigation. It's pretty much balanced out at this point, isn't it? Yeah, pretty Canadian much. Canadian this is probably US. worth more than <laughs> Yeah. So go check it out. They're kind of cute little DIY elephants. I, don't know, I like the elephant shape because the trunk is very different than any other animal. I haven't seen it. Is that why it's called Imagine trunks? Imagine an elephant. Mm. It's cool, then. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, roto a matic video. So you guys probably saw in our Chromacon wrap-up the uh, Helper Dragon, Tim Biscop Helper Dragon from Roto Fuji <laughs> from their Moldorama machine that they re-outfitted. Uh, and Kirby from Roto Fuji was cool enough to put up a video of the whole process of the roto a matic machine going, yeah. and I thought it was pretty cool. So if you want to see the whole video, go to the link in the show notes and check it out. I do want to see that. It's quite a loud machine. Loud. Loud. I want to see it. If right. You could show, you could see it anytime. You just go to the link in the show notes. I have to wait for the show notes. It's like a week from now. You should like go to <laughs> Chicago and just see the actual machine. There you go. Even better. You need chopsticks to do that. I got it. Chopsticks. <laughs> Well, I think that's it for the news right now. You know what that means. Blind box time. Yeah. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> what do we have for blind box today, Ben? Giggity. We have... Giggity. <laughs> we have Eight Deadly one. Sins Labbits mm. by uh, Frank Kozik and Kronk. Mm. Uh, mainly Kozik because these are his Labbits. Uh, and Kronk because he actually designed them. Ooh, so, I want, you know, they're all pretty damn cool. I'm assuming that that one is Gluttony, the yellow one where he's like drooling. Yeah. It could be Sloth, but probably Gluttony. Um, I'm kind of liking that one. Ooh. I don't know, they're all pretty cool. So, I'd be happy with any one of them. So, are all the designs no, by Kronk? No, you can't Kronk? say that. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, that seems right. Ooh. Okay, I'd either go for the black one with the rose. I like that one a little bit more than the rest. What do you think he is? I don't... Mm. Lust. He's lust. You think it's with lust? With the rose. The rose is lust. Okay, well then... I think. Is the one with the triple sevens greed? Uh, yeah, it's gotta be. Yes. Greed. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I feel like you should be able to identify them easier than we are. Yeah. Maybe you can Pick? when you see it. I don't care, I don't... Pick! Uh, the, the bone one with the with the worm coming out of its mouth. Right, Which one's you. that? I don't know. Um, the bone one with the worm coming out know. of its mouth. Maybe I don't know my sins well enough. Which one is? Hmm. Ooh, smells oh. good. Ooh, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. 
Whoa. I got sloth. That's the one I wanted. Oh, what I like the little do? drool. I got. Oh. I think I got the one that George wanted. Yeah. Which I didn't know this it? was a sin. This is envy. Oh. I got dejection. Yeah, that's the eighth. That must be the eighth because there's no. Oh yeah, there's seven. Dejection. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember this. Wait a minute, <laughs> that's a different color. It's a chase. I got a chase. Dejection. Nice. Ooh, I'm good at make pulling chases. Does dejection mean something different that I don't know? Like. I don't know. Are there really eight, or is this just two seven? There's on top seven. Of each other? There's supposed to be seven, but there's eight versions. Trade me. <coughs> I want that one. Oh, I Thanks. like Sloth. He's cool. Oh, come on. Here. You can have him back. Do you, do you, did I'm you want back. your Envy? I like that Sloth has the uh, the spit coming out of the front of his mouth, not the side. There you go. And it's like a, a clear separate piece that they put on. Translucent blue. Well, technically, this was the one that I wanted, except I wanted it in black. Oh, yeah. So, so we kind of cool. got all the ones that we wanted, except... Yeah. You got Chase. Yeah. Yours looks like Pikachu. Pika? Ah. <laughs> yeah, right. It does look like lazy Pikachu. Pikachu. He's lazy Pikachu. Mm, Pika. Um, Pikachu. It's got this crazy eight bit <laughs> style to it on this one that Wait I'm not wild about. What? Do these have the Yours? same design? Do they all have the same wings? Mine has eight bit wings. Yours looks like tattoo flash. They all kind of do. This one doesn't. If you're getting eight bit tattoos like that, you're awesome. He's got a power symbol on his butt tail. Well, what do you think about them? Butt tail. Woozle. I don't really care. I mean, they're bigger than the the two and a half inch I ones. I like the size of the labbit. Yeah, but these I are. I don't care about labbits. I don't. I I like labbits. I think these are pretty cool. I like the top of the ears are printed. I would like to one day see a labbit oh, yeah. in the That's style it. of Frank Kozik. <laughs> that would be awesome. What do you mean in the style of Franco? Like, like the way he draws the labbit? Oh, like the jagged? Yeah, like I would like to one day see a labbit designed by Frank Kozik mm. to make it look like a Frank Kozik labbit. Then I'd care about the labbit. These designs, like, are. Until then, don't give a shit. These designs are not screaming out to me at all. No, they're boring. They're, right. I don't know. I think they're kind of cool. Cool. Well, here you, here go. you go. Look, you got three new Boom. ones. Envy, sloth, and whatever dejection. <laughs> wow, thank you and guys. And whatever. And whatever. All right. All right, let's get on to some toy reviews. It feels like it's been so long. We forgot to mention that those guys, um, unlike the small two and a half inch that cost four ninety five, these cost nine ninety five. Oh, so regular blind box price. Yes, exactly. I do like the size of it, and I like the spit coming out of the one. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. Onward. <clears throat> <laughs> How do you just let that go? Onward. All right, so you do it with an onward. Dude Box recently sent us a package. Wow. Big package. Nice package. Nice package, Dude Box. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, and I have no idea what's in here. There's a couple of little boxes and a couple of big boxes. This is why we need the singers. Let's check it out, yo. I got them. Excellent. So here's two wow, little boxes. boxes. Should we do the little ones first? Yeah, or the big ones let's first? do it. You want to grab one? I'm going to um, wait until the scissors show up. And there were also this stuff. Some stickers, some dude box can stickers. Show those while I... Ooh. A postcard. Thanks, Aunt Terry. Dude box <laughs> stickers. Stickers. Tag up my neighborhood. And he will. So. And some buttons. Do you guys know a little bit of history about dude box? Nope. Uh, no not idea. as much as I would like to know. These guys are based out of the UK. I know that. Yes. Uh, they have developed, thank you, uh, they have developed a brand new DIY platform. Because we need another platform. <laughs> and they've actually, what they've done is they've created a couple of series that use that DIY platform, this one right here. Um, one is with artists, one's um, under a different, well, you'll see once we oh. open these up. Oh, are these blind box? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, oh, let's save one of these for a blind box yeah. time. Well, then you've got three with the super amazing spectacular collection. That's oh. one and of the collections. The so yeah, we'll we'll okay, save we're these. Okay, we're gonna save these for let's save future these for blind boxes. Okay. I guess we should have known that those were blind boxes. Well, we don't. We're opening it on the show. It's we're, live we're, action right here. We're finding live out. Action. Live action figures. Uh, they're at DudeBox.com. You, if you guys want to check it out. Um. And, you know, they're up and coming. They're getting more artists to participate in their platform. Uh, at Comic-Con, they had Attaboy 
show off his design. Are they doing shows or anything like that? I don't think they've done any shows yet, but I'm well, sure they're, they're planning on them. The sure are and everything. <laughs> hey, look, guys, we got stickers. You want them stickers? Actually, these stickers feel good, though. They feel like... Very vinyl -y. Yeah, something about nice and slick. All right, well, this is... Mo so that, Money Bunny. That's one of the... Mark Melling. It's one of the larger ones. Okay, cool. Certainly so is. these are the big ones, the seven and a half inch mm -hmm. version. So you open that, and I'm gonna read you guys about two bucks. Let's do it. Limited. Is this this is certified? You have an authentic limited edition, carefully crafted by Dubox. Ooh. Why don't That's we fun. put certificates of authenticity in our stuff? Because it costs more than oh, a yeah. lot. Oh yeah. Mm. Dubox was conceived and developed to both foster and facilitate enthusiasm for vinyl toy culture. Presenting the community with an unprecedented business model, emphasizing co-creation and ownership, Dudebox represents the next generation of art toys. Vinyl art toys are the perfect presentation of limited edition pop art. Mm. Well, actually, I like that sentence a lot. Each of our figures exist in quantities ranging from just a few hundred up to a few thousand. Once they are sold out, they are sold out, <laughs> never to be remade. This has created a popular secondary market of collectors in invigorated by the desire to collect them all. Like Pikachu. Pika Pika. Then there are some customization artists who slice, chop, stick things to, paint, and draw all over our do-it-yourself dude, our big blank piece of raw vinyl upon which any creation is possible. For a long time, Dudebox has been surrounded by an exciting, has been surrounded by exciting visionaries and creatives from all around the world. Our motivation is simple: we want to inspire to create. That's nice. Are you inspired to create? Oh, hi, it's, you little bug. It's actually got a real good feeling to it. Like, oh. it's like a good look. They match. Wait a minute, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so it does, good, it does have a good, it does have a good feel. Need to decorate one of these for Easter. Looks like a fat egg. Fat bunny. <laughs> but did you see what happened when you put the hands up? What? They kind of line up, so you could put something in his. Oh. Uh, look at hands that. like he's holding like an axe or a. Uh, a steak to steak a vampire. Ooh. Accessories. I think that's pretty cool that the hands do something unique like that. Each of our figures exists in quantities ranging from just a few hundred up to a few thousand. <laughs> Don't read that. I was gonna let it go. I, I, can't, I heard you say it, and I was like, really? Okay, so they're everything. Well, it means that they'll produce. We have some to some more. <laughs> Well, I think I think what it probably is is that something like the bigger figures, they probably make only a few hundred, hundred and some of the smaller figures they make a few thousand. Oh, I got the sentence. I don't think it needed to be explained. <laughs> so did you guys look at the the figure? Like it has the it also sort of just the, never needed to be said. The dollar the sign. The money sign is the heart, and it's like pumping gold through the skeleton. It's kind of cool. It's nifty. Takes me a minute to like zero in on it, but I like it. No, it's cool. I like the shape on this particular one more than the design. No. But you can't like every design in every series. So you like the platform is what you're saying. I, uh, the platform is growing on me the more I play with it, the more I look at it. And I really like this sentence. Vinyl art toys are the perfect presentation of limited edition pop art. There you go. I think that's something uh, Jeremy brought me to get behind. Forget canvases, vinyl toys. Well, it is. I mean, we've said for a long time. Yeah, there's Blanky. DIY. Um, we've said for a long time, you know, it, everybody in the designer toy community, these are basically pieces of art that you're buying, and that's a really nice way to sum it up. It's know? true. I mean, it, it does sum it up very well. You're and right. especially when people, because how many people ask you when you tell them something, you're discussing hobbies or they look at your toy collection and they're like, what's a designer toy? Well, they're adult toys. And then mm, they're like, oh. oh. So wait, and then you like the blank one better than the painted one? I feel like this is a trick question. Is this a trap? This is not a trap. Just answer it honestly. It's a trap. Yes. Okay. Why don't we do? Why don't we then start a contest this <laughs> this week because we don't have one running right now. What? And let's give away the painted one. I don't know what this means when I do this. We'll keep to the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Does it say that? No. Oh, that would be. Da, 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 da. That could be ours. We can have certificates of authenticity. Vinyl art toys are the perfect presentation of limited edition pop art. I need to post that somewhere. Don't worry, dude box. I will give you credit. Okay, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we are going to now ha start a new contest this week. Uh, it's going to run for 
let's see, three weeks? Sure. We'll tell, we'll tell you the date next week. We'll tell you the date <laughs> when it goes up on the form. Check the form for the date when it ends. The show um, notes. In the show notes. Uh, yeah, all you gotta do is... Let's see. <laughs> Not, let's, I, I, I want it to be open to everybody. Just... So just go to the form post in the, the contest section. Yeah, just, just post in the contest section, whatever. No, let's make it do something. we got to post something interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, tell us what you would turn your blank dude box into. Or find the blank dude box nah, on their website. Different. And no. make them draw. I don't want to make anybody draw for it. I just oh. want them yeah. to be able to just enter. Just post something up. Tell us something about why you like the dude box. Yeah, tell us you if go. you like or don't like or what you like about it. I'm or... guessing if you don't like, you're not entering the contest. So <laughs> You'd be surprised. Tell us why you want the dude box toy, and you're going to get this one by Mark... What was it? Mark Melling. Nice. Melling. There you go. Something about this is very... I like, this you know I like the skeleton on this. It's really cool. Do you like that one better than this? Uh, no, we can keep the blank one. I think the pictures don't do it justice online. Or even... Or this? Yeah. This doesn't do it. Because, I mean, it's the basic shape, obviously, but holding it, you get that little, like, little fat. It's different mm. than this shape, My custom's too. done. <laughs> done. <laughs> it's different than this shape, too. Like, this has a very pointed head, and it doesn't have that. Oh. Well, it's got, like, the egg shape. You can definitely tell it's an egg shape. Yeah. But, like, when you feel it, you're like, oh, yeah. It just does a good feel in your hands. It's got can a we good... make it a Fabergé? Dude box? Yes. Ooh. How cute would that be? I'm guessing the little ones are just tiny versions of the same mm -hmm. thing. Yes, but I'm excited to open those on future toy breaks. I like the feel Ooh, of this. Ah. Uh, it's got a good handhold. That's what she said. Why are there so many right now? They're everywhere. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. What's next? Dude boxed it up. Oh, did we tell everybody that they could go to dudebox.com? I'm sure we to did. To get their own dude boxes? Yes. Excellent. So next up, we have a fun little find. We found these at Target. Of course, you can find them at most mass retailers like Toys R Us, probably Walmart. These are called Squinkies Zinkies. <laughs> uh, we'll just call them Zinkies because that's what they're called. These are by, wait, what company makes these? Is it just called Squinkies? Or Lip, toys. Lip, Lip Toys. Lip Toys. I uh, think they're the same people that make the Squinkies. Yeah, they are. Yeah, the they same are. people that make the Squinkies. That's why they're Squinkies Zinkies. Squinkies Zinkies. So I got really excited about these because you remember the Squinkies. That we Tiny. had on little little guys. Little guys. These are littler. What? Smaller. Yeah. Smaller Tinier. than squinkies. You can go. They're even zinkies. Wow. See Look how at they this. did that? This is so exciting. That's a. That's a lot of them. Smaller. So smaller than squinkies. You can't even see it. It's so what tiny. What the heck is that? It's a, a zinky. zinky. Robot. We got the robot edition. We have the robot force pack here. This is a 36 piece robot force pack. They're also available in military crew or Space Alliance, and then there's some random, some like weird packs of girly ones that We should've got the us. Space Alliance. I wanted the robots. So this, the pack includes, <laughs> okay, you can have it, Ben. You're supposed to like, throw it up and catch so, it and eat it. There's little tweezers. No, 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 they're called squeezers. 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 So you can oh my God. pick, pick up your little, up your little toys. In your squeezer. Huh. There's a magnifying glass, so you can actually see what it looks like. Sweet. There's a little car that they can ride on top of. What's this thing do? That is a dispenser, I think. Whee! I think you can fit all of them in there somehow. <laughs> These are insane. Oh, does it roll back? Oh, and then there's also, each one has a special, uh, like a special character. Wait. And this one has like a little mm. robot commander Dalek thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a mm. monocle for Ben. Wait, what's this? Mm. And here's a <laughs> tiny... Not exactly. You know how the squinky needs come with a little ball? Oh, yeah. A tiny ball. Oh! With a special. one little tinier dude in there. What? Is that like a little They're getting smaller. It's like a little go. devil. Is that smaller? Yes. Well, he's thinner. Like, he looks like a little devil-y guy. Let this me see is, that magnifying glass. This is yeah, ridiculous. Here, wait, use the squeezers. Here. Wait, I don't want to squeeze them. I want to look. <laughs> These squeezers are useless, you guys. Yeah, the squeezers are pretty useless. <laughs> There's a freaking robot army in here of 36 dudes. Oh, we didn't say... This is $10. It's $9.99 for 36 teeny, tiny 
robots. Which pack did you There's want? The even, armies? I want the aliens. Oh, the There's aliens. even paint on this. Like it's got it's one tiny little brush stroke. All of them have paint on it. But it's like a t it's a, like what? The oh, these are ridiculous. So much like the bigger squinkies. How does this pass choking hazards? Like it definitely Wait, where's does the package? Not. Does it? What does it say about choking hazard on it? Because I could eat these right now. Um, don't eat them, please. Oh. Can I put it? Small parts, sm small parts and small balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're five. Choking hazard. Balls. It actually just says small balls right there. <laughs> not for children under three. Can I Instagram children, that? <laughs> children under three cannot have small balls. Small parts and small balls. <laughs> Which they're stuck with. Poor things. This is amazing. Look at this freaking army of you mean, dudes. Wait, you mean the, the text on the box? List? It's over here. I want to see some. I want to see up close, because I don't think this thing. How does oh, this? You actually can kind of see with it. Look, and they're actually all different little dudes too. How does oh. that even stand? Like, look, look at, at that. them, and they all stand up. I love that we're like playing with them right here. I know, Nobody you can't can see, see anything. <laughs> we're showing what? It's small. They're no, tiny. The flea circus is real. Trust me. <laughs> this is a flea circus. So, God, I, mean, I want to make smaller figures than this now. I've been <laughs> challenged. These things fit. These are smaller than my fingernail. Like they're tiny. Look at that. That's a fingernail accessory. Look at this one. It's got like treads and like. Can you fit all of them in here? Indeed, I does. think so. You're supposed to be able to fit all 36 in there. So. So you just carry all of them in oh. here. That's it. I'm getting the army. I'm, I'm getting the army and I'm getting the aliens. That's Here's it. what I'm torn about. Now that I've seen them, I'm on them all. I really like them, but they're that really squishy. <laughs> Squeeze them. I wish they were a little stiffer. I feel like they're going to break down. They'll be fine, but I wish they were a little stiffer. Let's see if they fit. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Look at this one. It's like a jet with a monster underneath it. A shark jet with a monster. <laughs> Come on. It does look like a shark jet. Thing. Why does this turn? Oh, that. I think you just keep them in there. Yeah, this is like their storage. Do all home. of them fit in there? We're going to find out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is insane. You get 36 of these. Uh -huh. This probably cost them a penny to make this. Keep, keep going. These are amazing. Keep going. So, again, Let you can the find these. Guy. At pretty much any mass retailer. Uh, we found them at Target. You, I, you can find them at Toys R Us. I know they're online at Toys R Us. Ten bucks. Oh, gold Amazing. guy's got little wings and a little painted eyeball. Don't. Put the gold guy in there. Oh, gold guy. Gold what guy. about this uh, this tiny guy? Well, he can't be in his ball. Nope. Can you fit the ball Wait, in there? Wait, will the ball fit? Whoa. It does. Everything Done. in there. Boom. <laughs> Except for the car. In my hand. Right there. Look at that. 36 Zinkies. Whoa, it's a pullback oh, car. Oh, it just got better. <laughs> Can you fit a guy on there? Yeah. yeah. There's room for a dude. <laughs> Come out. I need one of you out. Come to me, uh -oh. my servants. You can fit them all in, but <laughs> you can't get that's them. what you need the squeezers for. <laughs> squeezers? Hold on, let me just. It's because you put the ball in. That should have went in it's first. because I put the ball in. That's what happens. <laughs> small balls, small parts, small balls. Use the squeezers. Give me the squeezers. Huh? Huh? These squeezers are useless. I just wanted to make them. <laughs> Here, use the magnifying glass. Wait, I've almost got one out. <laughs> you guys quit giving me things to use. I could probably have it out by now. <laughs> ha! Oh, get a different one. No! Why? Oh, I thought he had like a little chair he sat in. No! <laughs> I want to send him for like a real rat. Yeah! And there he goes. <laughs> Alright, these are fun. I approve. Ten bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Made in China. Fabrique and Chien. Yes. I didn't okay. know it was going to be a pullback car. Cool. Uh, we have another thing over here. Do you want me to get... I'll get these out while you talk about that. Oh, I already got them out. Look. There's tons of them. Okay. Ooh. Well, done with those. Let's talk about that. All right, the next up is Capsule. Ooh. This is a new line by Jason Freeney. These are designer pill fobs. What's a pill fob, you ask? What What's is a, a pill fob? I'm also asking. <laughs> <laughs> this. The, they're also keychain zipper pulls, basically. 
I don't know what a pill top is. is that like a pill so container? it's it's a thing, is what you're saying. It's a thing that you can do things with. It's a pill container. Mm. No, it's a fob. It's a pill fob. A pill bob? Pill fob. Pill fob. Fob. Hmm. Ooh. So you put pills in there? Pill fob. Fob. And then you fob them. For pills. Nifty. So where do I keep it? On my keychain? On your keychain. Or on pole. my zipper pull? This is way too big to be a zipper pull. Is no, it? I this think is that's the size, size of zipper pulls. Of my finger. Some people do that. I do not want a zipper pull this big because then it hits the table when I'm eating and I don't like that. Mm. So there's a bunch of different designs in Series 1. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm. Not I just a bunch. Actually. So these are 2.25 inch keychain zipper pulls. There are 12 designs with 9 chase designs. 2.25? I didn't make that up. 2 and a quarter. 2 and a quarter. Like, who says 2.25? Me. Or who, why wouldn't you say like 2.25? Like 2.25? That's a weird way to say that. I've never heard anyone do that before. Well, boom. New. Boom. First thing. You can get these for $8 a piece over at jailbreaktoys.com. Uh, I'm, some of the designs are really cute. I like the alien looking ones with mm -hmm. the little... Lobby feet. Yeah, the little like they look like the like Krang or something or like the little aliens from uh, Futurama. Or Simpsons. Simpsons, Simpsons, I yeah. mean Kodos and Krang. There you go, Krang. Yes. Um but Ben, what do you think? Twelve designs with nine chase designs. That's a lot. It's a lot of chase designs, right? Yeah, that is a lot. But it's very lightweight. Yeah, I mean they probably made a lot of these. To keep the price down to eight well, bucks. Have a lot of pills. Yeah, you have to to keep the price down. Uh, but um, I like that some of them are clear, some of them are painted. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not blind key. box, so you get to pick which one you want. There's a really cool one, but they only sell it if you buy all of them. They'll oh, only really? give you the real, like the coolest one that they made. You can only get if you buy all of them. Did you say it's by Jason Prini? Yes. Okay, good. So I bet you can guess what's in the really cool one. It's the invisible inside, or mm -hmm. the visible ins innards, or whatever. Like, of course. The visible invisible. Yeah. Visible. I almost do feel the like ones, I should have. I should have got a different one. I should have got one with. Do, do the ones that have something that looks like it's inside? Is it actually inside, or is I it painted on the outside? I think it's inside. I think it's inside. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a thing inside it's the capsule. That's cool. I should have gotten one of those, but I like oh. the Krylon logo stuff, so I got the Krylon one. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It's fun. I mean, you want to keep your weed in there or something. I don't know. Whatever I don't, people keep. I don't in have things. weed to keep in a thing. I don't either. But like, if you had something to keep <laughs> in there, maybe you keep a note to pass to your friend. Uh, a note. You keep your emergency floss. What do you if keep in there? If you're a geocacher, um, you can use one of these for geocaching. Hang it from a tree, or something in a bush. Totally not Geo camouflaged at all. You get one that's camouflage. Camo. Hopefully, there's a camo in the nine chase designs. There's one that looks like a Huck G bomb. All right, Ben has some more stuff. Oh. He brought a couple things, right? Yes, we do. Let's start with these guys. All right, well, we're not opening these, right? No, I don't. I mean, these are yours, so oh. you decide. Well, then. Uh, these are from the Just Us League from Mad and uh, DC Collectibles. Uh, this is the um, first two coming out separately. Because I believe they released a dual pack during Comic Con. Yes, the Batman and Robin. Yes, so this is the Green Lantern and Aquaman. Green Arrow. Green Arrow. I I made it boo boo. It's okay. Um, it's green. You got the color right. Yeah, I got Aquaman. Well. Which is hilarious. I by guess the way. we'll give you a point for that, but I mean it was Aquaman, so. Ding. Oh. Aww. Hmm. Uh, they retail for twenty five dollars. And, it's going to uh, be an expensive line to keep collecting. Yeah, these are the first two, so get ready. Oh, speaking of 20... I'm sorry, do you have anything else to say about these? No, go We kind of talked about these before. This is still a really cool line. Just If you're a fan of Mad, Alfred E. Yeah. Newman, I mean, these are a must-have. But speaking of $25 action figures, uh, this is our first episode since we found out that the Mattel subscription went through oh, yeah. for Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. There was some weird stuff that happened with that. And I'm sure that people have already talked about it, and you probably already read about it, but I just want to say real fast, I cannot believe they shut down the voting two days early for the fan favorite in the line, the fan Why do they do voting. that? There's a lot of theories going around on the internet. But, like, one of the bonuses <laughs> of buying a subscription was that you got to vote for the fan It wasn't just one of, the vote, one of the bonuses. It was the <clears throat> first bullet point on the website. 
like, hey, you get to vote, and you can vote until this date. Until the 8th of October. And then they were like, ah, we're just kidding. I mean, the 8th of August. (laughs) Sorry, sorry, all those last people that vote that got it. You don't get to vote. Our favorite person ever, Scott Nylick, posted his update video saying that the totals reached 135% for the Masters of the Universe subscriptions, and the winner of the poll was whatever it was, Granador, whatever his name is, whatever that wizard is from the comics. Keldor. Kel- no, that's Geldor. Not- Geldor, that's it. Really? Really? Not Illumina? I'm surprised you guys have stuck around with Maddie and all their... <laughs> with all the bitching we do, why do we still buy it? Yeah, it's like... I don't know, because the Four Horsemen are sculpting it. have amazing sculpts, and they're... Um, they're it's true. For all the problems they have, and there are quality control issues, there's still some amazing figures. If only they would let the horsemen have control of the line, oh. and like let them do what they want to do to make the figures, then it would be 100% amazing. Yeah. But uh, these guys are DC collectibles. Yes. There's nothing so. to do anything. So $25 huh. seems to be the price that it costs to make a figure this right. big nowadays. Do you have something else? Um, I do. This is something that I was really happy to see. Um, this is the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem set that you could get at, uh, Universal Studios and probably any other Universal Park. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I've always wanted these little minions. I don't know if you guys have seen Despicable Me. And you do mean Despicable You. No, Despicable Me. Yes. Yeah, Despicable Despicable Ben. Despicable Me. Because I don't know if you notice... But Ben is on the package. I, I don't know <laughs> what they're talking. If you haven't seen this movie, it is Go called Despicable it. Ben. Look it up on online. Um, on IMD Ben. And it's no wonder IMD that you ben. want these minions because this is you. I love the minions. Because they're your minions. But I've always wanted to get like a whole bunch of minions. Yeah. And then Look at you. They... I've seen the movie. And then we could steal the moon. <laughs> Steal the moon. So there's also, it comes with a little play set to set up your little minions. So at the park, you could buy a set like this, and I believe the set was $18. It comes with, this is the only way you get the little girl and the main character and all three of the different minions that they made. Or I believe they sell the minions separately, but they're, they're like $5 separately. So it's oh, better so just not? to get the complete set, and for like three bucks more, you get the other figures. Plus the but then if really you want to get a bunch more minions, you could just get them separately? Yeah. And I bought a whole bunch more. Did you? How many did you get? I got like five, six more and put them all over my desk. (laughs) That's awesome. Every day we plot to steal the moon. These are great. (laughs) If only these came out when the movie came out, it would have been a lot better. I'm going to cry. Isn't there a Despicable Me 2 coming out? There is. It's going to be great. I wonder what they're going to steal this time. I don't know. Our hearts. The Mars. (laughs) Is that what Curiosity just went up? Yes. Exactly. (laughs) Let's just let's just planning how to steal it. You want to take about take, take a look. Take a little look at this one figure right here. Which oh no. The Despicable Ben. <laughs> I don't know. It's even got a G for Gretzky. <laughs> on the back. Look at this. <laughs> what am I seeing? Twins. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> oh. Oh, All goodness. right. Last thing up. One last thing. All hail Hypnotoad. Oh. Uh, this is from Kid Robot. Um, I think you mean Futurama. Futurama. Yes, this is, uh, but it's a Kid Robot toy for Futurama. Uh, great part is it retails for only forty dollars for the size of it. Now, if you were at Comic Con, you were able to buy these at Comic Con. They sold out, and everybody was like, "Oh no, Hypnotoad's all gone." Um, they made a lot of these guys, so hopefully you guys didn't buy them on sure. eBay. The fun thing about this, aside from it being Hypnotoad, is that the uh, eyes... Like yeah, go for it. I need the, the cutty instrument. Is it the same as the one at Comic-Con? Exactly the same. Thanks, Terry. Okay. Thanks, Terry. Um, the eyes are the, what is it, lenticular? Oh, is that oh, what it's called? Nice, yeah. So they, when you move the, the toad, it's like it changes. So it's like one of those pictures that like follows you around the room? Yeah. But this is awesome. And if you guys don't know Futurama, the Hypnotoad has a big role in it and has one of the most popular shows. I have a Hypnotoad for you. All hail Hypnotoad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's awesome. Just Look a at him. Toad. He's just a big fat chunk of flat vinyl. Yeah. I love it. 
40 bucks. They probably made a million of them. But they're fun, and uh, I know that a lot of, like, uh, if you can't get to your local kid robot or something, then a lot of comic book stores are carrying them. And Designed with love. It, it is designed with love. That's where they put on everything. Just point it out. And you can find them at 3D Retro. Dot com. com. There you go. Very popular toy. Sold a lot like of it. them already. Are they going to have other colors? I don't think so. I think the next one up that they're going to be releasing is Nibbler, actually. Same size. Nibbler? Same type of format. They're going to make a Nibbler? They're making a Nibbler. Now remember, they made the mini guys too. They made the mini Futuramas, which you can still find. Uh, and there was a Nibbler but in that as well. This isn't like a stylized thing. This is what he looks this like. Is this is what he looks like. And the Nibbler that they're going to be making looks like Nibbler. I think that's better than doing those. Because their stylized guys were kind of dumb looking. All hail Hypnotoad. All hail. Okay. So, yeah. Hypno, <laughs> Hypnotoad. I like it. I'm going to like Nibbler even better probably. But he's fun. He's a really good desk toy. Like this is the perfect like weird desk toy thing yeah it's not like it just sits there you yeah, really don't it doesn't need to do, do anything it. but when you move the eyes change starter. so it's cool i like it oh mm. i think that's it try to kiss him maybe i'll turn into a prince no, no <laughs> not gonna do it not gonna fall for that one again <laughs> <laughs> yes you will oh, oh. Mm. All, right. all right last Done. up we have Events or event? Event. <laughs> Star Wars Celebration! Ta -da! It's the Star Wars convention happening at the Orange County Convention Center in, in Anaheim, Orlando, Anaheim. Florida, August 23rd through 26th, StarWarsCelebration.com. And that's it for episode 228. Don't forget, you can save money online with Toy Break. You can go to the show notes at toybreak.com to get details and coupon codes for all the uh, wonderful we re retailers, retailers where you can save money. You can also, at toybreak.com, watch past episodes. You can get show notes for everything we talk about in the episodes. You can check out the goodies page where you can download uh, paper toys of us, three different styles. Uh, by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castle Fort. That's really cool. You got an afternoon to waste. Maybe you're homesick from work. Mm, do that. Build a paper toy. Why not? Smash it. Video it on your phone. Mm. Send it to us. Uh, <laughs> you can donate if mm -hmm. you're enjoying the show. We appreciate that. You can also support the show by going to toybreak.com. On the left-hand side of the page, click the Amazon link. Do your shopping as normal. That helps support the show, and we can't thank you enough for doing that. If you have any kind of mm. ad blocker on, sometimes it doesn't show up, the Amazon link. Oh, weird. So it'll always be the top, like there's the row of the sponsors. It's mm -hmm. always the top one. So if the top one is not Amazon, turn your ad blocker off, mm. get the Amazon link, and then just save the link, and then you can just use that. Yes. Save the link. And you can turn your ad blocker back on. There Do you go. But, but definitely, if you're going to buy from Amazon anyway, click through the Toy Break link, because it really does help the show. It does. does, and we appreciate it so and much. And tweet us what you bought, so we know. It's fun. <laughs> then we'll know who bought what. At George Gaspar. <laughs> also, you can email, or you can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. Keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. Check out our toy briefs and full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. Uh, of course, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. And at 3D Retro. Do you want people to follow you on Instagram? At B. Goretzky. <laughs> I was just wondering. You know, I, was, I was just throwing it out there as like no, a, no, yeah. a possibility. Check out my cool photos. <laughs> and his uncool photos. And my uncool ones, too. I'm yes. still waiting for the cool ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. You posted some lovely food pictures recently. Why, thank you. Hmm. Well, you're welcome. This isn't food break. Go. <laughs> when are we having food break? I want that show. All right. And now, here's your toy break. Thank you.